Hey everybody, uh, this is the Barton Musical Circuits ByteWise operator. Uh, this module, it takes two uh, voltage inputs and then uses some kind of logic or math operation within a microcontroller to produce a new output. Uh, it's got 10-bit inputs and outputs and we have an expander panel here which gives us uh, individual outs for each bit uh, that you can use for rhythmic sequencing or uh, something maybe more creative than that. <laughs> Uh, so the controls here, uh, we have inputs for X and Y. These have an attenuator and then an offset to each one. And you can use the offset as just a manual uh, voltage selection for each one, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing in this demo. Uh, and then we have inputs for update of X and Y. These are normal to 5 volts, but when you plug in a clock signal or a gate or something like that, uh, you can control when the voltages get updated. Uh, and then for outputs, we have a plus 5, minus 5 volt output, which we're sending to our mixer, and then a plus 5, uh, 0 volt output. So uh, that's for using either CV or uh, like an LFO signal or whatever you're trying to work with. So that gives you better resolution when you're using a, uh, when you just need 5 volts. And then finally here on the bottom, I have some normalization going on for the update Y control. Uh, what this does is uh, it's set right now so that update Y is only happening when I'm pushing this button or there's an input there. And if I flip it down, it's going to be updating Y all the time. Um, so let's see. The, there are four different kinds of mathematical uh, operations that go on to combine the two inputs. Uh, there's two Boolean logic ones, an exclusive or, and an and. Uh, and I'm going to explain that in the documentation PDF. It's easier to see written out on paper than it is to have someone explain it to you. And then I'm also going to show it to you in the oscilloscope. And then, uh, and so this, that's, and this right now we're in uh, XOR, and then that's AND. And then if you go up here to the math, it's B and M. B is for Boolean and M is for math. Boolean logic is kind of a form of math, but it's easier for me to remember. Uh, we have either uh, difference between the two voltages or uh, the sum of the two voltages. So let's move the camera real quick over to the old oscilloscope. And I'm going to show you uh, what changing the Y voltage does to this triangle wave for the XOR. I'm going to give us a little volume here. Okay, and I'm going to flip that switch to show you the difference. In, um, so you can see that uh, you can kind of see how the it's all broken up right now. Uh, that's because of it needing to switch between two analog inputs. But if we're only updating Y uh, much, if we're not updating Y all the time, it doesn't have to switch back and forth, and you get a much smoother output. It's still not perfect, uh, but it's a lot better. So you get. much smoother. Uh, so now I'm going to switch to AND. So with AND at zero volts, nothing gets output. Uh, Alright, and then to math. We're at, uh, this is difference right now, so that's creating these peaks. And this is pretty similar to a rectifier. And then finally to sum. And so as you can see, it's actually uh, going over the edge and carrying over. attenuate the input so that it's not doing that as much. And then that's me just playing with the offset of the X input. Cool. Alright, so the next video is going to be showing uh, how this works with a sequencer. 
uh, using a CV input rather than a signal input.